Hi everyone, it's Lori Langford. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to show you my technique for creating impressionistic artistic images using Photoshop. Hi everyone, so this is video three in a series that I've done showing you how to create beautiful, um, beautiful kind of meadow scenes and botanical images using Photoshop. So in video two at the very end, I showed you this image and I wanted to walk you through how I did this one and show you a couple additional tips and techniques to create these types of images. So this was the original. This is straight out of camera. Again, I shot it on a light tracing pad. You could also shoot it on a white background. And the first thing I did for this image is I actually took this image into Topaz Studio 2. Topaz is an incredible program, and what I did is I added some texture and I changed the background color. Now, you could also do that in Lightroom. You could do that in Photoshop. There's lots of ways. You could also apply an oil paint in Photoshop. So there's many ways that you could impact the image. From there, I took the image into Photoshop. So let's head over there, and this is um, let me show you. This is the image that I showed you at the end of video two. And so I want to walk you through this one really quick and then I have another one that I played with. So as I brought that image in, the first thing I did is I duplicated the layer and I did not use a filter. I just changed my mode to overlay and I reduced the opacity to 60%. And that, then I did the transform so that I could move this layer around. So if I do Command T, can see I can move this around to get it kind of positioned where where I want it and to do that I kind of want it to look like a shadow or that there's other plants out in the field so that's the look I'm going for okay then I duplicated my background layer again and I moved it up to the top and this time I did a command T and I enlarge you can see this flower right here I made it bigger so I stretched the canvas and then I did add a mask and I mask some of the other flowers off and tried to make it a little bit more custom. Then I um, duplicated the layer again and you can see this time I moved it a little bit over here to the right. So I have three. Now on each layer I did a different um, blend mode. So the first one is overlay the second was hard light, and the third is normal. So those will just give you an idea of how to play with this blend mode to get your final image. So then I decided to start fresh and play with this one again, and this time it's really a whole different style of an image. And I really like that the colors pop even better on this one. So let me walk you through what I did to get this image. So we'll go all the way back to the beginning. So I brought the image straight in from the Topaz edit. And the first thing I did was duplicate that background layer. And this time I used multiply as the blend mode. I did the entire te same technique that we covered in video two. So I duplicated the layer, I went to filter, and I did stylize find edges. I really wanted all this texture to come out and the edges to be um, really seen in the background. The opacity is at about 42%. And you can see that I just moved it slightly over off the flower, just like I did in the other image. Now, after that, I decided I wanted to make it a little bit more fun. And so I duplicated the background layer again. And this time I used darken. And if you look at before and after, you're gonna see I was filling in these gaps. So when I did my Command T, I actually, you can see now the scale, I moved this flower over and was really trying to fill in this space. Now that also filled in all of this area as well, but then what I did is I applied a mask. So I wanted to um, really decongest this a little bit and so I used my brush to get rid of some of these details. So you'll see right here down in the bottom left corner I got rid of a couple extra stems. So I'm just going to come in now and kind of clean those up a little bit um, and you can see those right here. 
and then I'm going to flip it because I want to make sure I keep the detail of this stem. So it's a little tricky when you get so much going on, but it's okay if you kind of miss something because the point is that it's really as if it was out in a field. It's really soft and dreamy. Um, you just want to make sure if you've cut off a stem that you bring it back. So um, I think all my stems look pretty good. And so that was that really second layer of the fine edges and bringing those flowers in. Now after that, I decided that I wanted to um, add, add some more to the image. So I wanted to bring a flower over to this side. I felt like this side of the image was a little empty and I just wanted to bring that extra whimsy to it. So let me walk you through how to do that um, since I haven't covered that in other videos. So I'm going to go back to my background and I'm going to duplicate that layer and I'm going to bring it up to the top of my stack. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to reduce the opacity so that I can see it and then I'm going to do Command T so that I can move it. So there's that layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this soft little flower and I'm going to bring it down and position it where I want it. So I think that looks pretty nice and natural. Now I'm going to take the opacity back up and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to check off the transform. So now we've got this funny layer here, but I'm going to add a mask. So we've got our white mask, but I'm going to do Command I to invert it. So now it's hidden. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna bring back that flower. So I am going to grab my white brush and I'm at 90% opacity and I'm gonna come over and I'm just gonna paint back in that flower. Now I also liked this little blue one. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it back as well but I'm gonna need to get really delicate right here because I don't wanna overlap so I'm gonna have to take this back to black and clean this up. So we're just gonna to have to take our time and zoom in and just kind of come in and get that stem and then come down here. And we don't wanna erase this other flower. So this is where it gets a little tricky, but just take your time. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect because again, this is, um, you know, it's supposed to be artistic and fun if perfect and, and everything exactly right is, is what you like to do, then this may be a little frustrating. Um, all right, I'm gonna make the brush a little bit smaller and just get that stem off of there. And remember, you can use your X key on your keyboard. That allows you to flip between your black and your white paint. So it makes it really quick to come in and kind of clean up these little, um, these little edits. All right, so we've brought this little blue flower in and I'm just gonna kind of cut him off right there. And um, come down, I've got it swooping down here, bringing out that detail. And then what I wanna do is fix this stem. So I'm gonna flip it to black and I'm just gonna bring this stem back. So we just want everything to make sense. It doesn't have to look exactly right, but we just, we want it to make sense, that's all. I'm gonna flip and let's get our brush back. And I do see this one little line. Um, there we go. All right, I think that's um, pretty good. These lines can, can bother you if you're a perfectionist and like details, um, which I do as well. Okay, so we've added this flower now and this is this layer. So you can see before and after. So um, just adding that in, adding some additional whimsy. You can decide what you like. Maybe you don't like this blue flower. So you could just come in. You don't have to um, have that one in here. Um, so let's go to flip it to black and we could take that out if we don't like it all or we could leave it really soft. Um, you know, you get to decide and that's what's fun I think about doing these images this way. So 
I almost think I like it maybe maybe without it as well so it doesn't take take away so you know different every single time all right the last step I did is I then created a stamped layer and the reason is I need to do some cleanup on this image so once you know you've got all your flowers where you want them you've got all your stems straight you feel really good about your image the next step would be to do command option shift the letter E so again that's command shift option the letter E and that creates a stamped layer and what that is is basically everything you've done so far is combined into this one layer now that's different than flattening your image because you still have these layers so if for some reason you walk away from your image you come back and you decide oh man there's something I messed up you can turn this layer off and you can go back into these other layers so it is um, it is a tool that I like to use okay so what I need to do now is some basic cleanup I'm gonna grab the spot heel tool and I'm just gonna fix um, which I should have done first I'm gonna fix some of these um, flower petals that had just kind of gotten all over my board and anything else that just seems a little maybe dirty or out of place I'm just gonna check around the whole outside and just make sure everything looks good and let's see that might be a spot right there I'm gonna take that one off so I think at this point it looks pretty good and at this point I could export it so this is a different image than this one you can see how how different and you know I like the muted and this was using overlay and some other blend modes and I like this one with more definition as well so remember for this one I used multiply blend mode I used darken and then I used a normal when we brought in this extra flower so I hope you've enjoyed this three-part series of editing and creating these botanical images and I hope you'll continue to try creating your own magical images using the stylized fine edges, using emboss, and then maybe even adding some oil paint, which we could do to this image. We could even add some texture to it. So have fun and thanks again for um, viewing my channel and please like, give any comments. I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks everybody.